Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Soccer time. 2020-2020 or 2021-22 Panini Donruss Soccer. Two box random country break number three, all card ship. Note that some countries won't have autographs. Big thanks to this group for getting into it. There are the teams there. Let's roll it, randomize it, names and countries four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Will down to Steven. Four and a three, seven times for the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Z Germans down to Forza Azuri. All right. Will with Germany, Matthew with Argentina, Robert with the Netherlands and Belgium, Stephen with Colombia, Matt with England, Matthew with Poland, Robert, Mexico, Spain, Portugal, France, Scott with the United States, Matthew with Korea, Matt with Uruguay. Joe with Sweden, Norway, Croatia, Robert with Brazil, and Steven with Italy. Let's sort by column B. And let's pause the video and see if there's any. I just grabbed two random boxes for this break as well, just from the pile right next to me here. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done in random country break number three. Big thanks once again to everybody here for getting in on the action on a Thursday, the 13th. All right, and this break is only two boxes, but there's a lot of cards in here, deceptively long. So let's try to speed through this as quickly as possible. We have not seen a Kaboom yet, so we're looking for that. We did see some nice hits, though. So let's see what we can find in these two. Check the schedule, folks. We got uh, we're uh, pretty pretty booked up, kind of, at least for the next hour or two. Check the schedule. We got about an hour left in the show. I know there were some people asking about the football mixer. That's not very. That's only an eleven box mixer. It's not super long. So if we can get that final filler knocked out pretty quickly, then we will do that football mixer tonight. But if other stuff fill up. Then we will run out of time. And then it will have to be pushed to tomorrow, which would be a shame because I kind of want to do that tonight. So you know what to do. You know where to go. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. <laughs> you know what, Logan? That's my, my parents said the same thing. They're, they're just like, there's no way we're paying that much for a classroom. And I was like... I don't think any of my friends got classrooms. I don't know. Maybe it's a regional thing, a generational thing. Sam says he graduated. Classrooms were the thing in the '80s. He said, "Maybe there, you know, there's there's always there's always a generational nostalgia happening." Is anyone uh, graduating high school in the next few years listening right now? Are class rings back? I know there's a lot of 80s nostalgia happening. Always 80s, 90s nostalgia in the works, right? I guess some more 90s these days. That Erlen Holland goes to Norway. That'll be for Joe. It's paper. And uh, this Jordan Sebechku for the U.S., 15 out of 99, goes to Scott. In the United States. All card ships. So if I miss anything, that's upside down. I like that Phil Foden's pretty good. Calvin Stang's rated rookie silver.
Gilo, you were deemed best dressed in your high school. You didn't get anything for it. That's a, that's kind of a humble brag, isn't it? You got a humble brag out of it. How big was your uh, How big was your high school? There was like five people there. <laughs> got him. Zing. Leo Messi. Going to Argentina, Matthew Shira will get all these Leo Messi. And here is Luke Shaw, Kit Series for England. That'll be Matt Arnold and England. <laughs> Chilo takes back the comment about the 120 bucks promo being a good deal. I don't know. The, the door is open, Gilo. I had to take it. It was too easy. The opening was there for the zing. Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Some paper for Portugal. Papel. For Robert. Joe's a Raiders fan, Zing. A proud Raiders fan. Raider Nation. Oh. There's Luca Ivanosek to 349 for uh, Croatia. That's Joe Andreessen, by the way, with the Sweden-Norway-Croatia combo. You'll get all those Erlen Hollands. Bukayo Saka, the Arsenal kid, going to England. That'll be for Matt Arnold with the three Lions. Jaden Sancho for the three lines as well. Let's say some Jude Bellingham's too. Has there been any? It's January, right? Has there been any big January transfer window news? Oh, there's Jack Wilshire. The beautiful game. Jack Wilshire autograph going to Matt Arnold. Gilo, you're slightly nervous about the Steelers-Chiefs game this weekend? Gilo's a Chiefs fan, by the way. You sh there's no reason why you should be. <laughs> I mean, the odds of everything going right for the Steelers. There's Ansu Fati, Silver. Or hollow, I guess, in Donner's optic and Bukayo Saka optic chrome. The the chances of everything going right for the Steelers and everything, every single thing going wrong for the uh, for the Chiefs, I feel like is it's pretty slim. I think it's reflected in in the in the line that Vegas has put out there, double digit. Now I, I was I've been listening to I've, I've been trying to formulate my uh my my picks my official picks for wild card weekend which you can see in the break schedule it's an under a different tab there's christian pulisic by the way so i'm trying to figure that out and one of the stats i heard was that that road dogs have traditionally done well have traditionally covered right so i think that's i'm going to be leaning a lot towards that however 
on the flip side of it, but that's for short numbers, a touchdown or less, maybe six and a half or less, right? For, for, for the road dogs, plus six and a half or down to zero, or I guess down to one. But when it gets to double digits, double digit favorites tend to win outright like 70, 80% of the time, maybe even more. So, I mean, those are trend numbers. Obviously, those could those could change at any time. I'm not strictly a trend better because there's so many different factors involved. But, but generally speaking, I think you should be fine. Big Ben fired up from the Raiders not trying? No, Big Ben's happy that the Raiders tried because if they tied, they would have not been in. So that doesn't make sense, Sheila. There's Virgil Van Dyke, 004 out of 149 for Liver, not for Liverpool. He plays on Liverpool. That's my club. Netherlands, Robert Runkel. They gotta fix this. I don't know what's going on at the card printing factory. These are loaded up upside down, right side up. Is this intentional? Do they intend to do this? I have no idea. This is not a Panini issue. This is this is a where they print these issue. I need to talk to some people at this factory. So what's going on here? Eric Garcia, to forty nine. For Spain, that'll be for Robert. Oh, is that Van Dyke's jersey number? Nice. I rarely hit those. That guy has definitely made it made a big difference to the Liverpool back line. Just his presence alone has really changed everything. All right, no kabooms here. Maybe kabooms in here. I guess there's really not much transfer rumors happening here. Maybe not. Thought uh, maybe. Jude Bellingham would be would be on the move in January, but maybe not. All right, he's with he's with Dortmund. I mean, I think Liverpool. My club was thinking about Jude Bellingham. I guess 15 hours ago, according to Team Talk, whatever this website is, Jurgen Klopp freezes January deals. As Liverpool transfers for Drew Bellingham, so 
There's no January deal? Oh, maybe they're waiting for the summer? Liverpool traditionally does not make... I guess traditionally... The, chan the January transfer, when everyone, everyone talks about what deals could happen, I, mean, I feel like big deals don't materialize as often as you would think. I think most teams really wait until... Wait until the summer. And it's all always interesting to to follow. We got Brad Evans signature series autograph for the United States. Scott with the U.S. I feel like we've got a lot of, uh, I've said this before, I'll say it again, we've got a lot, a lot of young and up-and-coming, hopefully up-and-coming players who might be right in the, right smack in the middle of uh, their prime when the next World Cup happens. Not this year, but in, I guess in four years. It comes here, right, to North America? I think we'll have it. But by then, a lot of these players... Maybe in the early 20s or now in their mid to late 20s. Be right in their prime. On home soil. We, we might make a little noise. That might be one of our best opportunities. To get close to winning a World Cup. There's Raheem Sterling. To 349. That's a press proof Erlen Holland, by the way. I do like these Marvels inserts, Joe, with that combo team. Did US even qualify this? I think we're I think we're qualified, right? I think there may be another round of qualifying that we may have to do. We're currently in the third round of of I don't know how many rounds, but I think I think we're up there. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're we're in second. We're a point ahead of Mexico and a point behind uh, Canada, with maybe like one or two more matches to go. The men's national team, that is. Yeah, the women win it all the time, seemingly. There's Kit Kings, Marco Verratti. Forza Azuri, that'll be for Steven. Thank you. 
some gold. We've got gold. Jason Denier. A defender. He's denying them goals. Nice. They're referred to as the new Vincent Company? Wow, that's high praise. Belgium. Robert. That's high praise. That is 10 out of 10. You know, uh, Vincent Company, back in his home country, uh, had a restaurant called Good Company, which which makes total sense. I don't know if I don't know if it lasted very long, but and yeah. Nice Cristiano Ronaldo silver. And there's Huang Hee Chan, 91 out of 199 for Korea, and the silver CR7, or optic, or uh, hollow, I guess, in optic. All right, that's for Portugal, Robert. I did not get to talk to him about Super Bowl squares or Super Bowl squares. I don't know if we're really going to discuss that until after we finish this current promo. So the sooner we can get this promo done, the sooner we can start thinking about that other promo. Right now our energy and efforts are, are into the Wax Party promo to give away a bunch of wax. Edson Alvarez, 7 out of 49 for El Tri, Mexico. Any kabooms here at the end? No? There's Memphis Depay to 49. All these boxes, all these cards, no kabooms, huh? Well, as they say in the Super Mario Brothers video games, maybe maybe the princess is in another castle. How many times did you go through that, playing Super Mario Brothers, and you're like, oh, the princess is in another castle. Oh, no way. Thanks. All this work. And she's elsewhere. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.